Hey all my family, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you steel connection design in CSI tab software that is beam to beam connection, beam to colon connection, rafter to beam to colon connection. Next we will see base plate design for this project. Let us show all the load combination and the loading assigned to this project. So let's go to the define menu. From the define menu, let's check uh, the load combination. So all the load uh, combination is assigned like this, all the wind load, plus the vertical load and that of uh, the service and factor load is combined like this. It's up to uh, 42 load uh, combination. Let's proceed to show you assigned loads. So let's go to the display menu from this uh, load assign. From that, uh, let's select the shell. This is because uh, we are going to uh, assign us uh, our roof uh, that is the egg as uh, a shell object so uh, from this let's check the wind index that is the wind pressure that means so uh, let's make it okay from this this is the dined load that is towards uh, the pressure side let's proceed to uh, this action phase so uh, go to the display menu again from that load designs select shell from this, uh, let's change to uh, the suction index uh, direction. You can see uh, the suction index and the y uh, direction as you want. So uh, make it okay. So uh, the suction load is uh, designed like this. Watch up to the end. Now it's a time for subscribe my channel, like this video, and write your feeling on the comment section. Thank you. Let's start today's tutorial. Before proceeding to uh, design all the connections, uh, let's uh, first analyze our project to get uh, the internal uh, reaction forces. After that, uh, we are going to uh, design our uh, steel structure frame, then we are going to uh, proceed to connection design. So let's go to uh, run the analysis. The software is under running the analysis. After the analysis is completed, uh, let's proceed to uh, design all the steel frames. So uh, let's go to uh, the design menu uh, from this, go to steel frame. So uh, let's first uh, revise our preference. From this, uh, we are going to uh, select zero code standards. After that, uh, make it okay. So let's go to uh, design again uh, from this steel frame design. So. Uh, Let's select the design group. So from this, you have to select uh, all uh, design groups. After that, let's go to the design menu again. So uh, from this, let's uh, select all design combinations. So all the design combination uh, must be under a list of design combinations here. Uh, make it okay. Let's go to the design menu again. After that, still frame design. So uh, start uh, design and check. A steel frame design is completed, so let's check it. Go to uh, the design menu again from this steel frame design. Verify all members are passed. All steel frame pass the uh, stress or capacity check, so we can proceed to the uh, connection design now. Go to uh, the design menu from the design menu, a steel connection design. From this, uh, let's revise our building code of standard or that of uh, their preference. So uh, from this, for uh, steel connection design, we can use uh, AISCC uh, building code of standard. That is American uh, building code of standard. So uh, from this, uh, we have defined all these things. That is beam to beam, beam to colon and colon to footing. That is the base plate uh, design. We will see uh, the base plate design in uh, the Aesthetica uh, software letter uh, that I show in uh, before. So from this uh, beam to beam uh, connection, so uh, from the beam to beam uh, connection, we have these four choices, that is uh, the partial depth. As shown on the figure, uh, in case of uh, partial depth, I mean, the uh, connection does not cover all the depth of uh, the beam and that of the colon. So we make it, our, uh, we call it a partial uh, depth. So uh, from this, we can define all these things one by one. So uh, for in our case, as uh, initial uh, design, Let's change the number of bolts as uh, two. Uh, let's uh, make it two as it is. So uh, for the other thing, the bolt type, let's make it uh, the default one. And that of the bolt size, uh, let's use uh, M12. That means diameter of uh, the bolt. 
and the porthole uh, let's use uh, additives and the weld material we can change all the weld material but in our case let's use the default the weld thickness uh, that is 100 millimeter and 100 millimeter let's leave it it's enough after uh, the time we can change all this data the plate material uh, let's use the defined plate material that is s355 and that of the plate thickness in millimeter uh, let's use a uh, plate uh, thickness of uh, 100 uh, millimeter or you can change it uh, further on the design after uh, complete all this data let's uh, proceed to the partial dips with a uh, top that means it's a partial dips but it's close to the top so uh, in similar way uh, we have to change all these uh, data yes the plate thickness uh, in millimeter let's make it 100 millimeter and for that of full depths that means it covers the full depths or the full uh, area so uh, let's change all the things uh, in similar way so uh, let's change the material of the plates the thickness of uh, the plate that is 100 millimeter after that uh, if it is uh, horizontal for in this case uh, let's change also uh, in similar way all these uh, data don't worry about this uh, we will change it uh, later also so uh, the thickness let's change it uh, like this after that let's proceed to a uh, that of beam column it's a basic point here uh, all of you must give attention here so uh, in the beam column uh, connection uh, we have all for these things that is a uh, beam to colon uh, when the shear is a major axis and beam to colon a uh, shear minor axis beam to colon a uh, moment major and minor axis don't worry about this i will show what mean uh, beam to colon minor and major and that of uh, the shear axis i will show it uh, later but in this case uh, let's uh, fulfill all the data in similar way yes so uh, let's change this uh, material yes plate thickness it's uh, over that i have give to this uh, material let's uh, make it 10 again and uh, for all this let's make it uh, 10 it's uh, excess so let's change all this uh, data again it's not economical actually so let's change it after that uh, let's change all uh, the beam to colon in a uh, shear that is a major axis so uh, all the data is uh, changed to the minor uh, axis let's change all this uh, in similar way it's so simple we can uh, change uh, further on the design okay so uh, for the major one yes for uh, the minor one i will show it in later Let's change all the data uh, like this. So uh, for the uh, column fitting, that is the base plate. It's uh, the next tutorial part. I will show it in detail. So uh, write your feeling on the comment section uh, if you are interested all about the base plate design. So let's make it okay. Let's uh, change this. Okay, so uh, let's accept it. After that, uh, let's go to the design menu again uh, from this steel connection design. So uh, let's select all the load uh, combinations here so all the load uh, combination is set uh, like this after that uh, let's go to the design menu again a still connection design so uh, let's start uh, our connection designs so all the connection uh, design is uh, done uh, like this we will show it uh, in uh, detail so uh, for in this case uh, first let's uh, go to I uh, hide the uh, floor yes so uh, after that all the uh, connection design is coming uh, like this this is a circle show that it's all about the connection design so uh, from this the uh, indicate that our connection is failed so we are going to uh, design it uh, further but and this color uh, showed that our design is uh, safe so let's check all uh, the things uh, one by one so let's click on uh, this connection that is the connection between uh, the rafter or uh, that of uh, the rafter for the roof and uh, that of the colon plus these two beams so uh, let's check it this uh, connection means that uh, 
this uh, connection yes it's uh, past all the that thing is is uh, passed so this connection is good it's uh, towards uh, the after and this is uh, our uh, column and this is uh, the two beams yes that means uh, this beam this uh, beam and uh, this beam so uh, let's uh, proceed to the field one so uh, let's check uh, this connection this connection that means that is uh, the connection of uh, the connection with this column and this beams uh, plus that of uh, this rafter so uh, let's click on it so uh, the connection is this yes or uh, the connection looks uh, like this so uh, it's uh, filled under a load combination 16 that is the shear transfer strength at bolt hole is uh, failed so uh, let's uh, go to uh, overwrite and correct this so uh, to correct this uh, let's uh, increase first the number of bolts let's make it uh, four yes after changing uh, the number of bolts uh, let's go to uh, change uh, the other things that is the bolt type uh, it's good so the bolt size Let's go to uh, change the bolt to uh, diameter of uh, Tioni. Yes. After that, uh, we can uh, increase that of the weld thickness, uh, the plate material, yes, and that of the plate thickness uh, specially. So uh, let's check it first. So it's uh, passed uh, after changing uh, all the uh, parameters, that is uh, the number of bolt and that of diameter of bolt. Actually, our problem is uh, solved. So uh, from this we can change uh, our, we can see all the details, yeah? Like this, all uh, the details like this, uh, we can uh, print it or we can use it as a Word file or directly you can print it, yes? All the uh, reports for that of uh, connection design. So uh, in this way you can uh, solve all the uh, problems, but uh, in case of base plate, uh, let's go to check it. In case of uh, base plate, yeah? this uh, connection that mean yes we cannot uh, increase a number of uh, bolts or a number of uh, bolts uh, for the uh, base plate in itab software so we are going to uh, export all this uh, data to uh, adestatica and we are going to uh, design in, in the next tutorial parts thank you see you there goodbye